Fred Film Radio at the 80 Venice Film Festival. I'm Laura Della Corte, and today we are here with the director of Paradise is Burning in the section Horizonte, Mika Gustafsson. How are you feeling today? Uh, I'm uh, incredibly happy. <laughs> wow, that's nice. Yeah, of course, I mean, like, what could be better for this is my debut film, yeah. uh, my first feature. I made a documentary before, but this is my first feature film. And I really wanted to go here with the film. And I actually told uh, the kids, the three <laughs> actors, like, maybe we go to Italy, maybe we go to Venice. And they were like, uh, when I told them, they were like, you already told us. Mm. And I was like, did I? They were like, yeah, you said it when we were filming that we should go. So uh, I'm happy. Fantastic. <laughs> I would like to ask you about the music. You know, I find it very, you know, fabulous, amazing. You choose like Life's Just a Moment or Susie, Blue Moon. So it, the, this song have a meaning for you. That's why you put the, in this particular scene. Can you tell uh, about this thing? I think, you know, what, uh, while I was uh, writing the script, I was writing the script together with Alexander Erstand. Um, and um, we collected a lot of materials. We visit places, uh, we collect a lot of music while writing. And for me, maybe it is a little bit like, I come both from documentary and fiction world, like yeah. connecting like uh, stuff. Uh, so I think it started already there, but for me, it was also going back. Some of the songs are like Gasolina and Aventura. It's from when I grew up, Yeah. but I, I, I wanted the world to be its own. So it's no especially city. It's no especially, almost not an especially country and time. So I wanted to mix Element. new music and yeah. old music. And um, it's hard to say how how I choose, but it's a, it's a feeling uh, that you get. Uh, but I, I'm, I mean, I'm also quite inspired by uh, Tarantino or Xavier Dolan to, to play with film. Yeah. Uh, because for me, it's very serious. I'm like, oh, I want to create uh, these girls that I haven't seen before in film, and, and then I want to play around. And, and I think it should be both. Yeah, it's an amazing job, actually. <laughs> so, you know, the film celebrates, like you said, the bond of sisterhood and the shared secrets of growing up, actually, because there are all these, you know, groups of kids that are helping each other and, you know, Anke, of course, fighting each other, too. And mm. uh, so how did you personal experience or observation in your life has, you know, made you portray this kind of key relationship in, in the story? Of course, I, I I seen this story, you know, from boy to, to men a lot yeah. uh, about growing up and learn from life and take some hits and, and, and stand up again and, and learn from it. Um, and I haven't seen that too much between girls. And I, I think the film is almost like a love story, but yeah. between girls, uh, friends or sisters. Um, and I really wanted to explore that to make them bad persons and good persons and aggressive and, and very, very sweet and, and vulnerable and, and loving uh, everything at the same time. So I really wanted to play with how can I make this girl as complex characters as possible. Um, so there was something like, you know, I've seen this. I have friends who fight when I, when I grow up. Uh, I've seen this. Uh, I have felt this. Uh, and, I, and I haven't seen it too much on the cinema. So there was really something make me, you know, going on when I was writing the script. Totally. Portrayed the true, actually. Yeah. The real thing. So, you know, the film also showcased this thing that you say that is, you know, uh, intimate interaction between among girls. And so could you tell us about the casting process in order, you know, to, to make you feel the chemistry on on your story, like with Bianca de Bravo, Dilvina Saad, Safira Mosberg, how did you find the, them? <laughs> uh, I always say like, you know, blowing up cars cost a lot of money, but finding really, really good actors also cost a lot of money. So it's also putting it in. Uh, it took 10 months to find them. Oh. Um, and like Bianca, I think I worked with her like a year before. And uh, Alex, who I wrote the script with, he's also an actor. 
from the beginning. So we've worked uh, a lot together as an actor and, and the director, having these workshops with the girls okay. uh, to make them learn uh, acting skills. It's everything between like learning text, uh, what is improvisation. Uh, um, we had it's a lot of fights in the film, so it's of course a lot of uh, stunt workshops and uh, and I think uh, I think we worked with them like for at least four months very concentrated to get them together but also like you know Dilvin the middle sister she's yeah. a, a football player yeah she's a really good you may making the team like come on girls we get together like and they have this and and Bianca is really good at text uh, so she learned you know they learned from each other and and realized that you have to be a team player to be a good actor so I think there was a key like finding uh uh, finding the right group yeah. that could also help each other, uh, but also Elin, who who casted, she I was like you have to street cast like everywhere, like so we find uh, Bianca outside the store and 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 Safira actually on the train station I think, yeah. and uh, Dilvin at uh, scouting in the school, so it's totally different places. Nice. Thank you so much for being with us. We have been with Mika Gustafsson, director of Paradise in Burning, in the section Horizonte. This is Laura Delacorte for Fred the Festival Insider. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me.